Butch and Bob Show. Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO, 105.5 FM in Jessup. Thursday morning, day before football. Bob, it's good to hear from the coach there getting ready for football Friday night, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, Brunswick Pirates. Back at JC Stadium, yeah. Yep. Uh, looking forward to that. It ought to be it ought to be fun out there tomorrow night for JC Stadium. We encourage you to get your gold and black home and uh, gold and white and black and yellow and have a good old time. We got Kylie and Shelby. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to make sure you remembered your name. And uh, so we got Shelby and Kylie in here, Kylie and Shelby. And they're here to talk about Wayne's Got Talent. Yes, sir. That is one week away. That is next Thursday. Wow. I know. It's finally here. It's August 29th. It's going to be at the high school auditorium. Tickets are $10 each, $5 for children 10 and under. And this is going to be a really, really fun night. Uh, We worked, our committee's worked really, really hard. And it's a fundraiser for Camp Hope and Boys and Girls Club. So, uh, you know, we're going to have 10 live contestants on stage. We have a variety of piano, singing, guitar, dance, tap. And they will be vying for first place, which is a $500 cash prize. Yeah. So we're really excited. And we have Sean O'Quinn is our MC, And he's excited. He's been practicing. He has a walkout song. Mm-hmm. I, I have, heard he also has a special suit he's going to wear as he's, well. He's wearing a special suit. A special, special suit. suit. For so, Wayne's so, Got Talent. Wayne's no telling what talent. Sean's going to have on. There's no, no telling. telling Listen, at all. nothing less for our presenting sponsor. I know, right? We just absolutely love him. So uh, we just wanted to come on here and get everybody excited because, you know, we're gearing up. Tickets are starting to sell. So if you're interested in coming, you know, you want to make sure that you purchase your tickets because we're going to have two lines. We're going to have a line for people that have already bought their tickets. You can come in, just get it ripped, walk on in, and then we'll have the line for purchase, which might go a little slower. So we just kind of want to, you know, get get everybody up and buy your tickets first. You can buy tickets at Hospice of South Georgia. You can buy tickets at the Boys and Girls Club, Prime South Bank, Shauna Quinn and Associates. Let's see, where else can you buy tickets from? Oh, the Chamber has tickets, and the Hope Chest has tickets. So, yeah, and shall we want to? Yeah, we are just, like, really excited about this event. Um, This is our first ever joint fundraiser that I've been a part of, and, um, you know, Hospice and and Kylie just has went above and beyond to make this magic happen towards the event. So I just really commend her and thank her for (laughs) really enroping us in this and giving us this opportunity. Um, You know, it really is both of our missions. We we serve our community in different ways, and I think it's a great way for people, even, even just by purchasing a ticket, they're helping to make a difference in both sides yeah. of um, our mission. So I just really think that's awesome. So I just wanted to put that out there that really by coming to this event, you're not only going to have fun, you're not only going to have some laughs, entertained, um, you're going to be making a difference in the mission of mm-hmm. Hospice and the Boys and Girls Club. So just really excited about that. That's great. We got Kylie from from Hospice and Shelby from the Boys and Girls Club. How are things going at the Boys and Girls Club? The Boys Brand and Girls new Club, school year here this listen, year. Listen, it's going phenomenal. So we currently have three sites total i have my main site and then i have a in-house after school program at jessup elementary school and james e bacon so you mentioned that before yeah last yeah so the, the tr- ago or last yeah, year i can't remember that's right the i think right at the beginning of it so the tr- i think actually that was the first time i really like made it public that this was our plan and what we were doing and um so we are serving right at 160 kids daily and um, that's combined with our three sites. So our trial run of doing the first ever in-house after school program in Wayne County has been deemed successful. And um, we are planning to continue to expand this. You know, growth does take time, but, um, you know, we're planning for Martha Rawls, Odom, and Scriven to also wow. get their own in-house after school program because we have saw the, the benefits and uh, it's great. It really is the parents. You know, I can remember whenever I first started, I was like, gosh, I hope they're going to be okay that they're not going to be bused to my main site no those parents were genuinely just excited to have after school care because it's it's vital and it's something that can be hard to come by so um you know we're in a we're in a great place so i appreciate you asking 
How long have you been the director of the Boys and Girls Club here? In so Kessler? I have been here um, since January 2018. Okay, I knew it had been a while. Yeah, 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 it has been. We've done some great things in yeah. the past seven years. Um, it has been. I have uh, great support from my board, and um, we have just, whenever I got to the Boys and Girls Club, you know, we just really got to work, and, um, you know, it shows that uh, – hard work pays off because to be what we are and to be the boys and girls club and to have the reputation that we do in our community it's just it's a really proud moment so I, and I don't plan on stopping you know I think that's the biggest thing is you know know how you know know how no tired you know how tired you get and but you just keep pushing and so it just you know, I don't plan on stopping. Okay. So. And what kind of staff do you have there at the Boys and Girls yeah, Club? Yeah, so staff-wise, I have a phenomenal unit director. Her name is Kate Ginn. She is somebody that I really tell um, who takes my vision and makes it a reality on a daily basis with running it. Um, then I have my YDPs, and so those are my youth paraprofessionals that are actually in the classroom with the kids. They're all great. Um, and then at my other sites, so I have site leaders there, and my Just Elementary School site leader is Renika Jackson um, she's great she she does a phenomenal job transitioning from working all day in the school system to then clocking out and clocking in for the boys and girls club oh, wow yeah so same thing at James E. Bacon I have Ethel Hudson she is our um, site leader there both of them um, go above and beyond for our mission and again you know this is new and even with the boys and girls club you know it's interesting they've like we've never seen um, someone do growth like you are right now and the layout that I have and, and the way it is but um, you know we really had to think outside the box and it's great that you've been here this long you, yeah. know, you know Bob and I were talking about that in, in coaching it's the same thing in, in, yeah. in business or a nonprofit like Boys and Girls Club you get a good director in there you get a good coach in there they're there for several years they build a good program that's right and that's what you've been able to do for the last seven years going on your eighth year there as director of the Boys and Girls that's Club that's right that's right you know 18 and 19 were really years of just having to really soak it in see where we were at see where we were going with our um vision plan and just um you know at one point i would say it was just pick up a paintbrush and get to paint in the classrooms you know i, I did that on many saturdays during my first uh first year me and my husband i think i've spoke about that before you know greg anderson he really right. um helped support the mission and um he does whatever he can to support the club and and really our community though you know i, I don't I don't want to just put a focus on just the director because in the beginning there was um, people that if they weren't behind me, I would not be here today by any means. So mm -hmm. I come in, you know, my board members, community leaders, um, you know, our partnership with the city of Jessa, uh, city manager Nick Ellis, you know, he's been a, a very big part of our club and continues to be. So, again, it, it wouldn't be without our donors, our community support, um, our kids, our parents, everybody, you know, it takes a group effort. So I'm, I'm proud for that. Shelby, you're doing a great job. Thank you so much. And Kylie, it's great that y'all teamed up with the Boys yeah. and Girls mm -hmm. Club for the uh, Wings Got Talent event going on next Thursday. Yes, so a lot of our kids um, that come to Camp Hope do go to the Boys and Girls Club, and we thought it would be a really good partnership, you know, to help raise funds and spread awareness of both Camp Hope and the Boys and Girls Club. And we couldn't do this without the support of our community, so you know me. I want to give some love to our sponsors. Give some love yeah. there, Callie. Lay Please it on. Do. So our presenting sponsor is Shauna Quinn and Associates, and he is also our MC. And there's no telling what he's got up his sleeve. And I'm just going to let you in on a little secret. We do have a surprise for him at the end of the show. So you'll want to stay the oh, whole time. Goodness. Surprise, so surprise, like surprise, yeah. surprise for Sean. So, and then there's also our prize sponsor. It's uh, Prime South Bank. Our platinum sponsors, Ottawa Federal Credit Union. And then we have our silver sponsors, the Jessup Police Department, Stucky's Cleaners, Interstate Credit Union, Mobile Concrete, and Beverly Lee Park. And our flower sponsor is Mary's Bouquet. And our stage decor is, by any occasion, Air Decor. So we've been very, very grateful. We've had a really positive feedback from the community. And the contestants are excited. We have our first dress rehearsal tonight. So we're really excited. Dress rehearsal tonight. We do. We have a dress rehearsal. Uh, you know, we gotta we gotta be professional when we get on stage. That's right. And uh, you know, we also have some people from the community that are gonna do some entertainment. We have magic, jokes, um, the blues brothers, singing, we have all kinds of stuff. So it's gonna be a really fun family event. So, you know, bring the kids. They should they're gonna be 
highly entertained, I promise. And all tickets are general mission. Uh, Correct. First come, first serve, right? First come, first serve. There's no assigned seats except for the reserve seats for the sponsors. And other than that, yeah, you just come and have a good time. Um, you know, Mark Tootle has been a, a huge help with us, helping the production. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, it's just a, a community event. We're super excited. And yeah. what time does it begin? Doors are at 6. The show's going to start around 640 and, you know, we'll have our, inter, you know, contestants. Then we'll have some entertainment, contestants, entertainment. And then we will um, have our announcement of the winners. Okay. Yeah. We have uh, a, Shelby, someone just text him. Where's the Boys and Girls Club located in case they want to stop by that location and buy a ticket? Oh, for sure. So we are located at 550 East Orange Street, Jessup, Georgia, 31546. An easy tip is go to the police station, and we are the se- other half of the police station. That's right. Behind the yes. Jessup Police Department, the back side of it there is for Boys That's and Girls right. Club. That's right. Again, is. I mis- mentioned our um, City of Jessup partnership, and so we go hand in hand. We're right there by um, the Jessup Police Station, literally the second and half of them okay. so come by and see us um anytime we're there until six o'clock daily um so we'd love to see you we'd love to have you at this event i can't wait um i think that's probably one of the funnest things about having an event in jessup is just getting to see all the faces that you don't get to yeah. see on a daily basis so please do if you're if you're thinking about coming and joining us for this event go ahead and buy your tickets now because i just i just know it's gonna be fun and we really commend our contestants yes. honestly do you have a list of them we we I really do. let me pull them up i do apologize no it's okay uh, we need to give some shout yeah, get your tickets in advance because that line will move a lot faster uh, than have yeah. to stand there and yeah, buy a ticket right. that night yeah and, and if tickets are only 10 bucks if it's starting to get you know crazy we'll open um, the doors a little early uh, just to get everybody in and we're going to make sure that everyone's in before the show starts. You don't have to worry about missing Mr. Sean O'Quinn's opening. Um, All right. We want to say to get people prepared. Mm-hmm. We're going to be giving away in just a few minutes two tickets we to are. next to the uh, to the Wayne's Got Talent event. This is a twenty dollar value, and we're going to give those away in a few minutes. Lucky two. And you're going, yep. yeah, that's right. You're going to text in. Don't do it yet. But you're going to text in to win, okay? Yes, so get, get ready, ready for that in just a few get moments. Your, so your chance pull to win. Pull over if you're driving. Just yeah, pull don't over, don't please. text Safety while you're driving. <laughs> you know, and we're going, to, we're going to give those away in just a few minutes to let you know that you're going to have a chance to win two tickets to Wings Got Talent for next Thursday night. That's coming up in just a few minutes. All right, go That's ahead, right. Kylie. Yeah, we want to give a shout out. So our 2024 Wings Got Talent contestants are Allie Fletterman, Alyssa Lee Johnson, Bailey Bryant, Braxton Westbury. Bristol Masara, she just got married. It was Bristol Hughes. Congratulations. Belinda Johnson and Katrina Bergens. Babes in Blue, Crystal Keith, Macarius Williams, Riley Goodwin, and Robert Thornton. So we want to commend them for right. taking the time out and wanting to be a part of the very first Wayne's Got Talent. First of many. First, first of, many. of many you plan yes. on making this an annual event we hope right? so yeah okay. yeah yeah we really do and we're you know if it gets too much we might start asking um, those we might have more contestants come on and we might expand it to other counties but we may want to just keep it wayne's got talent oh yeah, yeah. i think kylie so did talent. great with um thinking outside of the box on what she could bring to our community this year as a fundraiser that hasn't really been done in probably a long time i haven't it's been a long I time since we've had yeah, a talent show, a talent show kind of deal yeah. so again you know i don't exactly have a singing voice but i commend <laughs> those that do so yes. again or or a dancing feet i don't really have those either but i do <laughs> um i do commend each of those contestants because again they have taken the time to um put together their acts uh audition you know they each we of did. them we had to send audition. in a video and um be judged even before they got to compete P, you wow. know, so we've made sure these are some prime talent. Yes. So I just really commend them and a big thank you to each of them because truly this fundraiser would would not be possible without them. So we right. just really thank them. And it was really hard to pick ten because we had almost twenty and all of them were amazing. They were. And hopefully we can, you know, this year's our first one. We're trying it out, and hopefully maybe next year we can up the contestants. You know, and no, have you don't them. want to make the program too long. Yeah. You don't oh, want people. Of course. People can only endure what their butt can. And exactly. So, <laughs> well, those seats are pretty comfy. I know, but yeah, I just, I'm just saying. If a you lot make more it comfortable long, than the old one. Remember the old high school? Oh yeah, wood. I remember those. I went to Wake County High School. Yeah. Those, those, the wooden chairs yeah. that folded yeah. down like that. I mean. 
but yeah they you know it's just time. it was it was really hard and I'm, I'm glad i wasn't part of the voting committee because i would have just let everybody in because they were just, just all amazing y'all great and i'll y'all tell you what amazing. i mean honestly kylie has it really timed out so that's something we'll, so doors open at 5 30 6 6 mm-hmm. and then the show starts at around 6 30 6 40 uh depending on how quickly we can get everybody in like i said mm-hmm. if people are starting to line up and it's you know a quarter till and we're ready to go we'll probably open up the doors just to kind of get everybody in i uh, just want to let everybody know it is general mission so just because you have a ticket that has you know a number on it that's not your number seat you can just it's all general mission so you want to get there early and get a good spot and we are hoping for a rowdy crowd rowdy come right. ready to we cheer want rowdy and, yeah <laughs> come get ready to cheer you know you know uh Clap, cheer, dance, hoot, and holler for, you know, the contestants. Well, I know we you'll wanna... be leading the way, Kylie. Sean's leading the way. I know. I'm talking <laughs> about in the, in the cheering and in the, the yelling rowdy. and the hooting and the rowdy There's, and all that. you got to come and see what my role is. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, if you want to check out what I'm going to be doing, um, come on out. It's going to be a lot of fun. You know, we'll, we've got a lot of volunteers, and our both of our boards have been very active. So, yes. we're, we've been very lucky. But... Now, you ready to give away some tickets? Yet? I'm ready to give away ready some tickets. Away some tickets. Let's, let's get right. this ball rolling. All right. Tell us what it is, Kyle. All right. So, we are going to give away two tickets to Wayne's Got Talent. It is a $20 value. We want you to come out and have fun and be prepared to hoot and holler, laugh, and have a good time. So, for the 10th. 10th? The 10th texter. 10th texter to text texter? in. That's a name, Texter? I come up with words sometimes. Just disregard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, th- I think that's a great word. The 10th, 10th Texter I'm gonna comes in. I'm going to look on Google and see if that's real. <laughs> <laughs> the person that, the 10th person to text in, WGT. WGT? Don't, yeah, don't put, for Wayne's Got Talent. You don't want their name? Yes, and your name. All right, put in WGT and your name. Text that in right now to 912-427-3711. You get two tickets to ne- uh, to next Thursday night's Wayne's Got Talent uh, event. Yes. That's a $20 value. Tickets are $10 each. Just text in WGT and your name. WGT standing for yes. Wayne's Got Talent and then your name. Text that in right now to 912-427-3711. And if you're driving, please pull over. Yes. And uh, and uh, just the te- the tenth text that comes in will win. That's a twenty dollar value. You get into the event absolutely free. Yeah, and yeah. we're super excited. Oh yeah, is, is well, texture not a word? So okay, so texture, I looked on is Google. Is texture a word? Okay, so I did it. I looked it up, and people also ask, what does texture mean? A person who communicates by text messaging. So that's right. To okay. me, I mean, texture definition in American English. So you know, well, it makes sense because if you uh, dance. A a noun. So it's a noun. So if we want to get into like, you know, (laughs) English class today, you know, now we know texter. It's too early for that. I'm a texter. (laughs) You're a texter. texter. We are all texters. But yeah, it's going to be a really, really fun time. We got Um, some. Texas coming in from our texters. I can't keep up with what you're saying. Whoa. Join us. All right. One. No, I don't want to do that. One, (laughs) two, three. Who's our texter? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, we, ten. Oh, we have a winner! Another winner! A Woo-hoo! texter! Sean McGowan. Yay! Yay! I think that's Sean. Hold on a second if it's what's gone. Yep. Oh, congratulations, Sean. Sean McGowan. Yay. Sean Wait McGowan. To see y'all at the event. Right. I know. We're super excited. You're so your tickets will be here at the radio station. You're that's right. Your name on them. You're an excellent Sean, come texture. on by the radio station. Come on by the radio station, Sean, and pick up your two tickets. They'll be here for you. Don't okay? wear any of that gator stuff. Don't oh. wear any of that gator stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I got your Georgia Bulldog. And your... We won't give them to you if you wear oh. <laughs> No, No orange and blue allowed in the, in the, on, the same, on the same outfit. <laughs> oh, well, I really hope that everybody comes out. It's going to be a fun family event, and it's only for $10 per person. I mean, it's cheaper than going to McDonald's, and you have a, a fun night of family fun entertain, entertainment, and you're helping – Camp Hope and the Boys and Girls Club. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Shall that's we go it. Ahead? Thank yeah. you all again so much for it? this morning. Yeah. We're excited. Right. See you Thursday. Go Jackets. Go Jackets. Woo-hoo. All right. Sounds good. Y'all yeah. take care. Good seeing you again, Shelby. Right. Kylie, we'll see you what, next, next week. week. <laughs> 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 and then after.
after next week, you get to take a, a Kylie break. So we get yeah, a Kylie break. You do. Uh, you, do. <laughs> <laughs> you ever can breathe. <laughs> Bob, well, anything else on your mind this morning? No. All right, that's it. All right, that wraps up the world famous Butch and Bob show here on WIFO 105.5 yeah. FM in Jessup. And it's been, well, I've got to move my screen here. And let me move it to here. And uh, it's been brought to you by the service department at GNS Auto Sales, located on North First Street in Jessup, by Murphy Builder Supply on Broad Street, and by First Southern Bank on South First Street.